it's not what you think. It's not thinking. Mindfulness is a state of mind that arises through meditation and certain practices uh, that allows you, it, it's at a higher level of mind, allows you to look down upon and observe the lower functioning of your mind. And from there, you can make conscious choices, choices from outside of your conditioning, they're not governed by your past, from your ancestors, from your tradition, your history, free choices. And there's information and ideas, there is knowledge there available to you that you cannot receive when you're locked in that, that voice in your head. The thought analytical reasoning programmed function of your mind. You see, if, if we're living on the level of thoughts and reasons and concepts, we're little more than robots. We, we have no free will. I'm interested in waking people up, shaking them awake from their dream. And I think there's a very pressing need for humanity to wake up. So that's that's what we're about, really. We're about waking people up and, and shaking them into wakefulness. And we've got a great support group, a wonderful community, and, and, and there's something really special building. So the retreat's a bit of fun. You know, I don't think that it should be all serious because for me, that's what it's about. It's about community, it's about connection, it's about coming together. We've got my old lady, Chris, who, oh, she's just lovely. And she just, she just looks after everyone. I mean, she's just like the mother of everyone. So as soon as they arrive, they've got a warm drink, they're shown to their room. They are made very, very comfortable, and very, very welcome. And, and, and the work has started. Uh, and then Steve, oh, my, my, my great friend and, and partner, Steve, who came on my retreat about 13 years ago when I first started, with a very serious addiction problems, turned himself around, and he's taken himself off around the world. He's been to India and been to various ashrams, and he's picked up some real, real gems. And Simon is a, a musician, and then they're playing with, with frequencies and sounds, and oh my God, I mean, you think you've had a sound bath. This stuff is just off the scale. And they're addicts, you know. This stuff is off the scale, off the scale. Uh, and, and that sets the vibrational field for the weekend. So the person that I always believed I was, like just basically an, an angry addict, violent monster, that's who I thought I was. All of a sudden I was starting to see, that ain't you. You're not who you were. You know, the more present I become in every moment, give me a more of a realization that I'm not that person that I had led to, like I'd made myself believe I was. I realize things that I've talked about being my problems were really my problems and I pushed through them and I've learned that I need to start loving me and I think I've taken the first steps and that's been incredibly powerful. This is what I'm pointing towards, right? There's, some, there's a spark in you that's been ignited which means you open to these kind of things rather than close to these kind of things. If that spark wasn't ignited, you would dismiss all of this angrily, violently even. Yeah. But because that spark is in you, hang on a minute, there's something else here. And that's, that's the key thing. If that spark is there, I can work with people. I can open it up, we can start a fire. Right? But if the spark is not there, there is no point. If you practice meditation and mindfulness seriously, it will change you. It will change your whole outlook on life. Your understanding of yourself, of the world, uh, the universe, and of your role in it.